In light of the alarming hate raid trend on Twitch, I'm here to offer an option that may help you stay safe online. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube video. Let's see if I can still get into it. Hi everyone, it's your old pal Twitch Dad or T or T Monster, depending on how you know me. And yes, it has been a while since I've created any content on YouTube, and I've been looking forward to getting back into it. With the new job that I just picked up a few months ago, it's been an adjustment of schedules, and I felt compelled to make this particular content a YouTube video and do it in a way I've never done it before. Usually I script everything, do a little bit of rehearsing, but right now I'm talking off the top of my head, it's all one take, and I'm doing the best I can. So last night on my stream, I went on ahead and I talked a little bit about the alarming trend that is hate rating on Twitch. This is uh, Twitch streamers that are marginalized, LGBTQ, people of color, accessibility advocates, and all of them are being targeted by these hate raid bots. It's a real shame, and I think that as an ally, I should do something to try to help, something to give back to the community. The community has been so good to me. So what I've done is I've put together a tutorial on how to create a panic button as a line of defense against hate raiders. Now, for this tutorial, you are going to need an Elgato Stream Deck. It doesn't matter the size, it just matters that you have up-to-date software for the Elgato Stream Deck, and you have one button available. This footage is coming from my stream from last night, and it is uh, edited very simply, not as many bells and whistles as you're usually used to on my stream, and as you can see, I'm doing this completely off the top of my head. So this is a brand new way of me creating content for YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you get something out of it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. We are working right now with Stream Deck. And um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to, we're going to, okay, we're just going to go on ahead and we're going to set up what is called a multi action button not a multi-action switch but the multi-action button now for those of you who have stream deck and if you don't know what stream deck is yes it is covered in twitch for dummies available bookstores everywhere and it's basically <clears throat> excuse me i think i think my my uh, puberty is finally hitting um it's basically this thing right here this is the this is the the uh the the, the mid-range stream deck right it's basically got all my sound effects oh. You hear it, you know. If you, um, you know, it handles all my transitions. And what a lot of people use Stream uh, Stream Deck for is one simple thing, like one simple function, right? I'm going to show you how to create what is called a multi-action. So let's go ahead and let's start. First, you pull up your Stream Deck uh, software, and you're going to look under. The, and you'll notice on the uh, on the right hand side. You're going to have a menu of all these different uh, things to choose from, right? All these different things to choose from. You want to go to the Stream Deck section. Or as my wife would call it, the Stream Deck, right? So you go to the Stream Deck section and you go to Multi-Action. And um, you're going to grab Multi-Action and you're going to drag it to an open spot. You'll notice that I had an open spot right in here, okay? Uh, you got a multi. You, you're gonna you're gonna drag that uh, that that action straight in there. So what exactly is a multi action? A multi action is exactly what it sounds like. The multi action allows you to do multiple things when one uh, with with one button with a one button push. So what's gonna happen is, <clears throat> let's say the hate the hate raid happens, right? There's a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening all at once. You need to disable your alerts. You need to disable your chat. You need to clear your chat. You need to switch to emotes only if you want to. You need to slow down your chat. And on top of all that, you need to let people know that this is happening. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to show you how to set it up. And I'm going to set it up for myself, obviously, where you only have to push one button and then disable your alerts. And from that point on, you're golden. So let's get, so let's dive in. The first thing, the first time that this happens, whenever, whenever you have this happen, whenever you start getting, uh, getting, um, hate rated, 
you want to uh, first off drop a marker. So you're going to scroll down here in this right in this right hand menu to the Twitch section. Okay. And there's something that says create stream marker. <coughs> drop that into your uh, into your multi action. That's the first action you're going to do. The stream markers basically make sure that something is dropped into your stream so that when you go back and you look at it in a VOD, it's marked. Usually for videos and things like that. Okay, so that's our first thing. We're gonna we're gonna do, go ahead and just um, we're gonna drop the stream marker. The second thing we're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to clear your chat. And the reason why you want to clear your chat, the reason you want to clear that chat is because you don't want anybody dropping any screenshots straight away that are gonna uh, that are gonna be incriminating on you so we drop the stream marker and then we drop the, we drop in clear chat third thing we need to do is we need to slow chat down so going ahead and slow your chat down drop in slow chat that'll crank back how many how, how, how often even for bots they can go on ahead and they can uh, they, they can do that And then we're going to want to again drop in another command, switch to sub chat. Now, as you're looking at your flow, you may think, hey, wait a second. I think I want to switch to sub chat first, then go to slow chat. And I'm like, okay, that's fair. You might even want to say, you know what? I think I want to clear chat first. I'm uh, sorry, I want to clear chat after I switch to sub chat. And again, that's fair. So here's what you do. You place your cursor here on the far right side of that blue bar and then you click and hold. You can now move this command anywhere along this list and you can drop it right in there. So now when I push this button, it's going to go create stream marker. It's going to drop a stream marker. It's going to switch to sub chat. So then you're going to clear the chat and then it's going to slow the chat. I'm not done yet. The next thing I want this thing to do, and I'm going to scroll up here to Twitter, and I'm going to drop in, create a tweet. Now, if you've never done this, if you've not synced up your your uh, your stream deck with your Twitter, all you've got to do is make sure that you uh, you have your username and you have your password. You just go on ahead, swing on swing on in here. Uh, in, into your Stream Deck software, and you can authorize Twitter to send out a tweet. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go on ahead and um, make sure it's going to the right account, which is T Monster, so I'm good. And I'm just going to type in, if you are reading this, I am currently under a hate raid, and I'm using that as a hashtag, hate raid, on my channel. I understand, and I'm going to at Twitch, is doing what they can, but come on, and then hashtag Twitch do better. But we're going to go one step further with this tweet. Notice down here I got attachment. I can go to attachment, and I can go ahead and drop in something here. I'm going to go ahead and click open. Now, that means when this goes when when this ha when this tweet happens, it not only goes up with the message, it also goes up with the uh, the the image popped on there. And one thing you may or may not know about images on tw on Twitter, if you have an image attached to it, it will receive more traffic. It will it will receive more traffic. So now what's next? One last function to put throw on here. And we again go we go back to the Twitch, we go back to the Twitch section right here. And I'm going to say create clip. And I'm going to drag that in. We have a six step multi action button right here. And if you want to add it, you want to give it some personality, I'll show you this real quick. I found this image on a uh, royalty-free site, but you know I'm using it for personal reasons, so I can go ahead and use it for myself. That's fine.
But you can go on ahead. If you did a search for panic buttons, you can find a whole bunch that look like this. But find one that that uh, that that you like, and then you can go on ahead and you can drop it in as set from file. I go on ahead and I grab panic button, and then when you are done, you click the back button for multi action, and there's your function. This is what I mean by taking on uh, an offensive position as a defensive uh, as a defense against what's going on right now with the hater raids. I have just shown you how to create a panic button. I am not going to push said panic button because I want to make sure that uh, I want to make sure that um, that that uh, that I don't send out any false reports. Okay, but what's going to happen is if I push this button and and right now I'm looking at it and you're looking at the same interface that I've got this button. If I were to push this button. It's going to trigger all of those actions. Um, and those actions are, just a review, it creates a stream marker. So if I want a longer clip, I can go on ahead and, and, and make a longer clip because it'll, be it'll be in my VOD. It then switches to sub chat, then switches to clear chat. It will then slow the chat down. It will then send out a tweet letting people know that it's happening in real time. And then it will go on ahead and it will give me the option to create a clip. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. But the one thing I do want to make sure, chat, that, that we all keep keep in keep in mind is not to be afraid. We actually still have a lot of control. Um we still have we still have we have we have a lot of control at our hands. And Twitch is doing the best they can right now, but in, but in all fairness, Twitch is also playing catch up. Twitch is playing catch up, and one of the ways that the Twitch can catch up to us a little faster, or can or that can help us a little faster, is if we start taking initiatives. Raid should not be a thing that we're afraid of, and that is why I I'm I'm, I'm coming to you all as Twitch dad and saying, you know what, let's really. Let, let's really keep in mind that that we are not we are not going to be afraid of these people because we have we have a lot we have a lot that we can do on our part we can report these things to twitch let them know how serious it is we can speak up about it which is what we're doing right now we can start taking precautions to make sure that um that if something does happen on our stream we're ready for it and I do think Twitch is working on the problem. I talked to a lot of people today. And Twitch is working on the problem, but they're playing catch up. And going back to what I was going to say about about my, my buddy Nick, who's in uh, cybersecurity, the way he and his, uh, his fellow white hat hackers all put it is they go, you know what? If we end the day on a tie, it's a good day. We, you know... We have ways of making sure that we're going to be safe. We have ways of making sure we're going to be okay. We need to talk to each other. We need to make sure that we're, we're communicating. If this panic button, if showing you how to do this panic button helps at least one streamer, I'm good. I'm good. There's nothing cool about this. And do I think that... Do I think we're going to rise above this? Sure, I do. I do. I really do think that. I I have nothing but unending confidence. Um, and and I do think Twitch is going to handle this. They know. They know this is a problem. We all have to step up as a community. And this is this is what you know. This is part of being a, be, being part of a community. This is part of being a society. Is that we can we, we is that we take the initiative to look out for each other. Now, if somebody says, "Hey, T, I don't need you looking out for me," okay, cool. Then I'll look out. Then I'll look out for myself, and I'll look out for somebody else. But I'm not going to stop. I will not stop. I mean, I mean, it was kind of funny. 
after I after I did a lot of my a lot of my um, research, I was on the phone with Steve, Blind Gamer Steve, because they're going after people of color. They're going after people from the LGBTQ uh, uh, community, and I'm like, accessibility's got to be up there somewhere. And I I called Steve. Said, Oh yeah, yeah, I know it's coming. I'm good. I'm good. That was that was the thing. I'm good. <laughs> and I'm telling you, man. You know, blind. You know, I, I I will always I will always and forever argue blind gamer Steve. He is he is not a guy you want to cross. I have seen him from a distance be angry, and let me tell you something. He gets whiter. He gets whiter, chat, and 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 I'm telling you, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Don't piss off the blind guy. He will take you down to Chinatown. He really will. But I'm still going to look out for him because he's, he's a buddy of mine. I got his back. And he knows that. But don't be afraid, chat. Do not be afraid. And there you have it. A tutorial on how to create a panic button as a line of defense against hate raids. I hope this has been helpful to you. And if it has been, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. Go ahead and throw me a like and... If you subscribe, make sure your notifications are enabled so you know when new content goes live on this channel. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe and enjoy the ride. Hey!